Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa. And if you're enjoying this content, please just take a quick second to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps this channel and this entire community to grow. So I get asked this question, what's the difference between the narcissist smear campaign and a victim exposing the narcissist? Good question. So the narcissist smear campaign is made up of lies, false accusations, and half-truths. Now this smear campaign typically starts well before the victim leaves the narcissist or the narcissist discards the victim. It can start as early as the love bombing stage. Now, why does it start during love bombing? Isn't that the golden period? Well, because the narcissist knows that the relationship will eventually fail. They expect it. They know the victim will eventually see them for the monster they really are. So they have to start early. That way, when the relationship ends, no matter who ends it, the narcissist has already convinced others that the victim is emotionally unstable, crazy, has a troubled past, they have addiction issues, whatever the narcissist has decided to come up with. The smear campaign is used to exert control over the victim once the relationship ends. And this is done to further abuse the victim by turning others against them. This also helps the narcissist to isolate the victim from friends and family, making it so that they have no one to turn to, no one to go to for support. Now, if the victim leaves the narcissist before the narcissist is ready to, to discard the victim, the smear campaign is going to be used as a form of punishment for the victim daring to leave them and also to save face with others. The narcissist is fiercely protective of their public image and their reputation, and they will never admit fault in the failure of the relationship or any relationship. They're then going to smear the victim who got away in order to elicit sympathy from others and to gain new supply. They want the new supply to lick their wounds and feel sorry for them. And this really helps them do that. So since the narcissist began smearing the victim long before the relationship ended, the narcissist is able to gain support from others who will believe their tales of woe without the narcissist even having to provide any proof of what they're claiming. So basically, the narcissist got there first. They beat the victim to the punch. And a lot of times, whatever the first thing a person hears is what they're going to believe. So the supporters of the narcissist, the flying monkeys, will believe the narcissist every word, despite lack of evidence, despite any proof, and despite any proof that the victim presents because they've already been conditioned and manipulated by the narcissist. Now, a victim coming forward and telling their story is not a smear campaign against the narcissist. In fact, many victims never come forward and speak out against the narcissist out of fear of what the narc is gonna do. Victims come forward um, because telling their story helps them to heal. They've been invalidated and gaslighted by the narcissist for so long, and now they wanna finally be able to speak up and tell their truth. They may also wanna warn others about the narcissist not wanting anyone else to experience what they experienced. Narcissists typically target empaths. And because the empath, you know, tries to save and heal and fix the narcissist, well, now that same empath wants to save others. So the biggest difference between the narcissist smear campaign and the victim exposing the narcissist is the smear campaign is made up of lies. The victim's story of exposure or exposure of the narcissist is simply the truth. As I've mentioned in previous videos, I had no plans to expose the ex-narc in my life when I started this channel. I planned to keep both his identity and even my own identity completely private. Had he not done certain things, he would have never been publicly exposed. So I really gave him way too much credit in the intelligence department. And there are links to the videos um, posted in the description box below.
about what I'm talking about. So how do you handle the smear campaign? Well, it's natural to want to jump in and defend yourself. That is human nature. But don't waste your time. People are going to believe whatever they want to believe. And there's really not much you can do to change that. Those who really know you and care about you and love you are going to stand by you. They know who you really are. You may also find that supporters of the narcissist discover the truth for themselves eventually. But just let others find out the hard way just like you did. I know it's easier said than done, but keep your focus on yourself, your healing, your recovery, your own growth. Ignore the smear campaign and cut those people off who choose to side with the narcissist. Remember, they were never on your side in the first place. You can recover from narcissistic abuse. And not only can you recover, you can thrive and live your best life ever. And I'm here to support you in doing just that. Thank you for taking the time to listen. I truly appreciate all of my subscribers. If you feel inclined to do so, leave a comment. It might just help another survivor. And if you'd like spiritual support, just leave a comment below. I, along with a team of others, will pray for your healing. There is strength in numbers. Thank you again, and may you have a blessed day.